you know, what are those teachings and what are those lessons um, that we need to go back to? Uh, and especially if you're someone who maybe you feel like you've missed out on those in your lifetime, I certainly hope that you'll be paying attention to this discussion that we'll be having here today. So first of all, Benjamin, what is it that a boy really needs to become a man? All right. So let's start by saying that whoever is teaching this can be a man or a woman. Mm -hmm. Let's remove this uh, perception that only a man can teach a boy how to be a man. Mm. But the, aren't there critical things? That, I mean, because people talk about father figures all the time. That, that's right. Ideally, a child needs both a mother and a father. And a child, a girl needs a mother to tell them the world of women, how mm -hmm. to operate. Sh truly, a boy needs the father to tell him the world of men how they function. But there are things that you can teach a boy, whether you are a man or a woman, whether you are the father or you're the mother. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that we want to focus on today. Because... Without knowing that, you can stay so hands off from your son, yet there are things you could have taught him. Sure. Because they, can, they are visible even from outside. Mm -hmm. um, so the thing that a boy needs is a transformation of the mind. Let's start by saying today we said a boy, I avoid, we avoid to say an adolescent or a young adult. We said a boy to mean a child. Okay. Because when he's adolescent, he's a half child, a half adult. Adolescents okay. are those that stage where you are too grown to be a child, yet too young to be an adult. Mm -hmm. And they're in a flux. Mm -hmm. They're really in a metamorphosis. That's mm -hmm. why adoles adolescents band together. They are connected by that state of confusion, that they want to be independent and do things on their own. But they don't have money, they don't have the power, they don't have the knowledge, they still rely on the adults, they hate it, they come back, they keep uh, back and forth between doing on my own and asking to be shown. <laughs> Trying, then it's not working. So what a boy needs in order to become a man is, is really just knowledge and understanding. Because biological growth is happening uh, almost automatically. As long as you're eating well, you're exercising, you'll grow biologically. But Joyce is possible to grow biologically, grow beards, but you're still thinking like a child. Mm -hmm. So let's start about the things you need to teach a boy. Number one is because bullies, bullies have damaged the self-esteem self, uh, self of, of boys. Tell your son that always stand up to the bully. He is never as strong as he seems. Mm. It's important to tell a boy that. It's important in this world to be able to stand to injustice. To anybody try to harass you, stand up to them. Many of them are not, they're just abrasive. They don't have power at all. Mm. And, and, and if, 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 I, if I can tell you how many cases I meet boys who started bedwetting, and they're not been bedwetting. They started bedwetting in high school because they were bullied, you know. Mm. They started, you know, uh, they were harassed into things that they didn't want to. So number one, always stand up to the bully. For yourself and for your friends. Sometimes you band two of you. And there's somebody said that that boy in the schoolyard, that boy in the street who is always afraid of any conflict is the boy who always goes home with a black eye mm. because others sense his fear. Mm. And so they harass him. We say it is not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of fight in the dog mm -hmm. <laughs> that determines. Even if you are a short boy and they try to look at the, appear tough when they want to, you know, they want to hit you and they will leave you alone. So learn to defend yourself. That's the essence. Don't okay. always run home crying, they bully me. Don't always run home, say, reporting who and so and so. Stand up to them. You, they, they will soon learn that you're not easily played around with. Yeah. Another thing is um, being strong does not mean being unfeeling. Sensitive, humility, caring is strength. Mm -hmm. That is not communicated to men. Mm -hmm. Learn to say I'm hurt. Mm. Learn to say I'm frustrated. Learn to say I feel tired. Mm. I feel overwhelmed. That is not a sign of weakness. Mm -hmm. That's a sign that you're understanding. That's a sign that you know you are aware of emotional life. You're emotionally healthy. You're emotionally healthy. Thank you. There's a lady here to give me the right language <laughs> because they live there. <laughs> you know, well. it means if you can be sensitive to how you feel, you'll also be sensitive to another how they feel. Yeah. And the fact that you can acknowledge when you need time alone means when other people also need help and support, you'll be able to do it. In fact, being able to express what you need is a sign of strength. Mm. being able to express I wish you you know you, you let's talk I just want to have a talk as a man that's okay you're not being taught to shut up and men shed no tears that's sick masculinity the same way we talk about toxic femininity we also have sick masculinity mm. people who think being male is being unfeeling so being able to feel and express emotions another thing is to know that you as a man you have you are an emotional human being and your emotions have a language of their own how many men are, be are behind bars today? Tell your son. How many men are behind bars today? For one moment where they lost control of their emotions. Mm. They lost control of their anger. Mm -hmm. Lost control of their passions. Overwhelmed by lust. Overwhelmed by something. And they did something weird. Something queer. They were caught in trouble. Now they're spending a huge chunk of their lives in trouble.
Yeah. So learn to manage, actually to be aware, how am I feeling now? The fact that you can acknowledge how you're feeling now, yeah. you'll be able to manage it. We're going to have to take a break uh, just now, actually. But um, I, I think part of what I want us to come back and discuss is even the element of being polite. Because nowadays, when I say I'm to Akiwa polite, you know, there's no more like the gentlemen, you know, when they say chivalry is dead now. Like, at you keep fungulia, Madame Lango, I'm okay, 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 I'm funny things that we are, we are sort of propagating out there today. We're going to carry on this discussion with Benjamin when we get back from the break. We're also going to be talking about the male ego. How do you properly teach your, your sons about the male ego and how to grow that in a healthy way, mm. right? So that it's not something that is threatening to women or you're threatened by other men, by people's success. We want to talk about all of that when we come back from the break. And of course, you can send in your questions to double two triple nine. And on our Facebook page at Switch TV Kenya, I'll be getting to them shortly. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. I'm here with Benjamin Zulu, and we've been talking about um, how the lessons, rather, to teach uh, your sons and young men, uh, young boys, I should say. <laughs> now they are still boys. Boys so that they can become men, okay? Um, and uh, he's shared a few of those lessons already. One of the ones we were talking about was for teaching boys to become emotionally aware. And that's, that's actually... It's a thing you have, so you need to take care of it. There's, there's being having healthy emotions and there's having unhealthy emotions. And that it's healthy to cry. You yes, can cry is. in private if you want, but don't suppress your emotions yeah. that you never express them. Yeah. Another thing to tell boys is there's a difference between man talk and dirty talk. Before we get to that, yeah. I want us to, to, to finish up with, with, with what I was trying to get to earlier as far as this emotional healthiness, mm -hmm. because part of it, I think, relates to politeness, mm -hmm. right? where that has become something else that it's not even a factor it's not anything that's considered anymore mm. right so chivalry being a gentleman these mm. are not things that we hear nowadays that being a gentleman what <laughs> you know what i mean talk to me about that in relation to emotion and and uh, becoming a real man because that matters a lot when now this man is trying to get into a healthy relationship it's with a very a woman. good thing to pull the chair for a lady it's a very good thing to open the door to umpishenjia, to help her with the umbrella, to take care, even if you are, if you see her struggling in the luggage somewhere, assist her. That is part of being a gentleman. Although it has, it has diminished in the way it is being labeled, but it is also tells how much men are struggling mm -hmm. in forming healthy relationships. Because those small things uh, have communicated a lot of care to ladies. They matter so much. Um, I, I can't tell you that I still feel... Um, even when I'm moving around and see a lady, maybe as a lighted from a vehicle with a big luggage, uh, feeling to assist her, just to assist her cross the road or do something. And for me, it's a very easy thing because lifting stuff is a manly thing. But seeing a lady struggle with it feels bad. So I want to ask to tell boys that, young, young men, that grow by learning how to assist in small things, showing kindness. That is not weakness, that's strength. It just makes you a good person. That is, in fact, you feel good. And let me tell you, if you're trying to get to a babe, being a gentleman is such an important thing. And it goes even with how you treat older women. And this is not, it's not in a sick way because I know there are people who are going to get their minds in the gutter. But to me, I have tremendous respect for a young man that I see that will pisha an older woman into a room or you'll get up and give her your seat. There's just something about that because it's on says, the lift. If you can yeah. look at them that way, yeah. then how much more are you going to do for me who you love? In fact, after you've done them until they become second nature, the lady you wanted to impress will be impressed faster by Completely. seeing that they are second nature. Yeah. As opposed to this person who does not have sensitivity to the mm -hmm. ladies around. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, young men should avoid raising their voice to women. Any woman, mm -hmm. don't raise your voice. Mm -hmm. In fact, most men, women are scared. By that, uh, don't use that. Yeah. Communicate politely. 
yeah. whether in disagreement or in agreement. And I think that would actually segue very nicely into the next lesson, which in terms of how you communicate to women and even how you communicate to your boys about women, yeah. very, very telling. So if you're the person who's just going to be catcalling, you know, you're hissing at women when they pass by, oh. you use such derogatory terms to talk about women or their boys, you basically make them sexual objects. Oh, and when a, when, when a woman turns down your advances, don't insult her. That's not strength. Yeah. That's being barbaric. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a difference between we men and other male things. We share testosterone, all of us. Right. But we should be human. We should be more kind. We are more understanding. So you don't, you don't behave uh, in, a, in a forceful way towards female or speak in a language that is violent. Yeah. Even if they turn down, many ladies actually are testing. They're saying not to test what kind of man you are. Right. You're supposed to be polite and uh, uh, respect her decision. So the next thing I was saying is, differentiate between man talk and dirty talk. There are men who pretend that they are teaching you about men, but they're just introducing you to perversion and addictions and, 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 and things out of control. So addictions to anything, addiction to pornography, to alcohol, to gambling, to betting, that's not masculinity, that's sickness. Mm -hmm. So man talk involves the emotions and the lives of men and how we should manage it. When David was in First Kings 2.2, 2, he was passing the baton to his son Solomon and he told him that, I am going the way of all flesh. Be strong and show yourself to be a man. To be strong means you don't give in to fear. A man should not be a coward. Mm -hmm. There's a time that uh, two, a couple was attacked by thugs at night and the, the man ran to be under the bed. And this is a reality. To, to took off and telling the lady to, you know, put more things at the door so they're not open. Work a mitungi, work a he, you know, push things at the door. And himself is hiding. When a man is coward, the woman does not feel safe. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be courageous. Mm -hmm. And courage does not mean that you don't feel the fear. You, fe you feel it, but you don't act on it. Mm -hmm. You actually become courageous and protect. Y even if you don't know the lady and their situations, you know, uh, when a lady is emotional and she's in a place, assist where you can. Mm -hmm. Another thing is to know that there is no, there's no masculinity in drinking or proving how many bottles of beer you can drink before you drop. Mm -hmm. That's not masculinity. That's another sickness. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be in self-control. A man who is addicted to anything is not in charge of his life. Mm -hmm. He's not in charge of his life. Part of, part of being a boy, part of being a man growing is to learn how to, uh, what you're predisposed to and what not to attempt. Mm -hmm. When I talk to men, I ask them, what, what, what troubles have your fathers and grandfather, your line of men, have mm -hmm. struggled with? If you realize they have had a lot of problems with women, problems with alcohol, you know you are very predisposed to that because of modeling. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I have to say, now that we're having this relationship discussion, it's reminding me of an SMS I received, I think, a week or two ago. Kuna mtu siji ka ajafurai na wewe, aliniambia ati we are siji, we are putting down the boy child and we are siji doing what? And maybe it's who you when you have a text up at ena, anasema kwani izulu wa ninjo? Uh, he's asking about the situation that happened in Umoja, nobody is talking about it. Anasema ati uli mblog. But clearly, obviously, I, I think what we're trying to say here is this is not about bashing men. You're it's right. not to say that women are saints either. It's not to say that any of us in our own relationships right. are saints. I think what we're saying is we're trying to learn. We're trying to pull people's experiences together, just as the pastor said this morning, that you don't have to make your own mistakes for you to learn the lesson. You That's can right. Wisdom is learning the lesson from someone else's experience. That's right. So... That aside, um, lots of people are enjoying the discussion. Masi Ogola here saying, uh, taking notes. Um, uh, Monique, uh, watching us from Scotland, you say, thank you very much. Uh, Pauline Miner as well from Kagio, uh, thank you very much as well for that. And I, I think maybe this would be a good point to talk about man's ego, just in relation to what I'm saying about this, this comment. Uh, someone who maybe just doesn't agree with what you're saying. They feel like you're being too harsh on the gentleman. <laughs> let's, let's talk about men's ego. Um, because, again, that's, that's unfortunately a lot of young boys have been taught, like, Usi na mtu, you know, like, always stand your guard, always stand firm, and blah, blah, blah. And so even finding correction especially when it comes from a lady in a relationship it's like you've diminished his whole persona so at always you can't even be told i don't like when you did this it offended me two things one let's tell let, let me tell boys that and, and whoever is objecting we, we totally invite your objection we yeah. divert the views but today now we are building up the boy child be happy today the subject is a boy child yeah. <laughs> we are building each other up yeah. one we want to tell men that uh, boys that when you fail it does not make you a failure Mm -hmm. When you are corrected, you're not being attacked. Mm -hmm. 
you are being given ideas to adjust your work. What you need as a man is a secure ego. So secure sense of who you are so that when you are corrected, people are giving you ideas to shape your work, not to shape your self-esteem. Get your self-esteem right before you display your work to the public, before you go work. In your family as you grow, get learn, learn how to affirm yourself mm. so that when you are corrected, you don't feel attacked. Those people who feel attacked have not differentiated their ego from their work. Mm -hmm. If you're a broadcaster, if you're a speaker, if you, if you come here and somebody disagrees with what you say, I don't feel attacked. They're, yeah, yeah. they're helping me modify my work. Mm -hmm. They're providing a social mirror. Mm -hmm. So all advice to all men is get a secure sense of who you are. Mm -hmm. And don't be oversensitive about criticism. Criticism, feedback, correction is how you mold your work. Because everything we produce in the world, Joyce, is for people. It's for consumption by the public. Mm -hmm. We ultimately sell it to them. Whatever yeah. is a product or service for them. It's them who give you feedback how they're experiencing it. But now, learn this. After you hear feedback, always look beyond the criticism to see the critic sometimes mm -hmm. some critics are coming from a place of envy or anger or their own unfinished oh yeah <laughs> one of the things i live by is i'm not gonna take advice from somebody i don't respect <laughs> you know in fact even the tone in which you put exactly the way if you come that like you're bashing i will not even engage because i can sense you're not being polite and you're not being civil so we want to tell men that a secure ego invites disagreements invites without feeling attacked and now let's talk about women when you talk to women, don't look at them like just that. They, they look at the idea. There are some men who will not take an idea because it's coming from a woman. Mm. That's being foolish because you're going to be overtaken by growth. Mm -hmm. Ideas are the things that advance life. This chair was an idea before it was became reality. This TV show was an idea first. Everything you can see was an idea. Invite ideas from whichever source. In fact, if anybody can volunteer ideas, they are doing you a favor. Mm -hmm. I always invite ideas. Mm -hmm. that's, that's mental effort that they expended. Mm -hmm. And they are really d d d giving it to me for free. When we come here, we are trying to give people ideas. Mm. So part of what we want to invite all young men is to learn to embrace ideas. Evaluate the idea, buy the ones you buy, drop the others. You lose nothing mm -hmm. by listening to a lady. Yeah. In fact, you become better. Yeah. And we told men that the other day that you can influence women with your ears more than with your mouth. Mm -hmm. By just listening to women, validating their emotions, making mm -hmm. them feel understood. Mm -hmm. That's better. You'll attract, and I, I told them that you can catch more bees with a, with a drop of honey than with a whole gallon of vinegar. Mm. By, being, by, by motivating, you, you attract more than by manipulating. Mm -hmm. And as we said, manipulators are usually weak people who don't want to take up the work of loving, understanding, being patient, being caring. They're using force because they don't want to be human. So the better way is to be understanding, humble, and relational. Right. Not domineering and controlling. Yeah. Yeah. And all of these lessons will matter so greatly, especially in a season like this where we have to be around each other. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk about when you are quarantined with the people you don't like. You know, we are using work. To, we are using work to escape. We yeah. call off for a few minutes and you go to work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. But now you are here for long, for longer periods. We are forced to face issues we have been avoiding. Mm -hmm. So this is very important. Yeah. I want us to also talk about sense of responsibility because for too long there are people who've gone around just making babies and not taking care of them, yeah. babies. <laughs> responsibility very important like you father the child take care of the child in fact that's one sign that you are human that you're strong that you are a man mm -hmm. uh, sirening even bulls can do that animals do that every day but stay there and father that child mm -hmm. stay there and mentor that child even yeah. if you're not in terms of the mother prove yourself to be a give the child what you wish you were given right separate fact, your relationship with the mom and yes. with the child Think in terms of if I was the child, what would I wish for? Identity from my father mm -hmm. to affirm me. There are children who have grown very healthy from families that are already split because the man was very present. Mm -hmm. They would talk on phone. Mm -hmm. They would affirm the child. They would tell her, I'm proud of you. Don't worry. It will not okay with you. How are you faring? How can I help? Mm -hmm. That emotional presence is very important. So I want to ask men that if you find that you are, you are a father of a child, differentiate between you and the mother. Right. And the same way mothers, would, uh, we should not use children to fight between us. As much as possible, let us separate children issues with our issues. Yeah. Because these children are, are not small people. In 20 years, they'll be adults. Mm -hmm. And what we have been doing to them now, they'll be living with it. Or mm -hmm. we'll, we'll reap from it. So there's no win in using children to fight. Mm -hmm. Better it is to separate the children with us and yeah. allow children to relate with both parents. Okay. Can I mention something about fathers? Yeah. You always use your father as a, as a northern star to determine the direction of your life. Mm -hmm. But it does not mean you emulate him. If you like him, emulate him. But if you don't like some things about him, go the opposite direction. Absolutely. You, they, they are Take two. what is good yes. and leave what is bad. Yeah. Even with your mom, whoever. 
So men sometimes you say, you know, I'm smoking because my father left me the way I'm damaged, he neglected me. If you don't like the way your father behaved, correct it. Be the opposite. There are two twin, twin brothers who are born to an alcoholic father. One of them became an alcoholic too. The other one never touched alcohol. Mm -hmm. When they, they were asked, they gave the same answer. He said, I watched my father. I watched my father. Mm -hmm. So this one watched his father and emulated. This mm -hmm. one watched his father and corrected what he didn't like about the father. So you, we are all brought here by a father. If your father is so absent, you never saw him. Just decide to be present in your yeah. son, children's life. Yeah. If he is very present and caring, decide to emulate him. Yeah. Yeah. Someone here says, hey Joyce, I'm in love with your program. Uh, thank you very much. You're watching from Gidurai, a very populated area, and you'd like a mask to protect yourself. Um, someone here says, my contribution is this. Our boys who are soon graduating to be men need to be taught how to control their ego. Let's learn this. Uh, serving our ego only takes us farther from the things that we want in life and you say one may want to lash out yet it may feel fulfilling but there is a price to pay that's right that's frank watching from kajado and um i, I also want us to talk about anger and there's a good sms here from marianne watching from gong she says her son is one year and eight months and he's very angered and uh, she's asking how she can help her son grow without that anger because she feels he's uncontrollable and she's fearing for him when he grows up that he could become a bully. One year, eight months. If a child is showing anger, you know even children of few months can show anger. Mm. Crying incessantly, just protesting, crying a man other, just protesting. So anger is an emotion that comes from feeling vulnerable, feeling if it's excessive, it has a cause. So this, this lady has two options. One, get the child to a child psychologist. Or yourself, be equipped on how to treat the child. Mm -hmm. Uh, there, there, there are ways you can do. For example, there's some habits like throwing tantrums. Sometimes you promote the child if you keep on rewarding the tantrums. Mm -hmm. If you keep on, you know, uh, when they insist on something, you reward it. Or mm -hmm. they could be exposed to some, it could be modeled. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a couple more SMSs here before we wrap up. Someone saying, I have a brother who's over 40 years old and uh, doesn't have any plans of getting married. We were raised by a single mom and I guess maybe he lacked a role model and Carol from Eldoret is asking, how can we help him? If he's 40 and lazy, invite you to help him. You can't help him. <laughs> but to those of who are of that age, one is the reason men may not marry until they're 40 is because the mother is filling the gap of the woman in his life. Oy. That's one reason. They are always in touch, man, doing, doing, na, 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 na. so there's no space in his life. Mm. Or the other thing is, he could be feeling insufficient. He does not know that he can play the role of a husband. Mm -hmm. He has esteem issues. He's afraid. Okay. Or he does simply does not have social skills. Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. So unless he wants the help, a forty-year-old, you can't impose help on him. If he invites you, please help me. Now go give him those points I've given you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Jackie from Kisi is saying, my hubby can't talk to me calmly. He's always shouting and abuses me emotionally. Always telling me to leave his house anytime we have a misunderstanding. Okay, I'll to Seriously, I get so bored with such like <laughs> a misunderstanding. And you, anyway, I just I always question where is love in all of that? Oh how did you people come together? <laughs> That's a question. Part of it is, uh, I, I, I. I both of them are to blame. The lady has lacked so much self-respect that she can tolerate that kind of language. Mm. You're supposed to say, I can't stand that kind of language. When there's no fight, call him now. When there's no when fight, no there's irritation. No fight. Yeah, don't do it. In the Invite him. Fight. Tell him, why do you use that language on me? Umpike vizuri. Yes. Akua kikula, alafu muliza. Yes. Na kijaribu kukama aptena mwambia, ah, 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 stop raising your voice. Calm down, we talk. <laughs> yeah. Why do you use that language on me? Tell yeah. me what you mean now. Yeah. I want a commitment from you that you're going to control your language when you're, when yeah. when you're angry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Another here says, how does a woman deal with a boy who is raised wrongly and makes you, huh? and make you now there are kids involved, but he does not have any good behavior to teach his kids? Okay. So let's assume he was raised poorly uh, as per the SMS. They now have kids between them, and so she's struggling with, like, You are going to outsource. You're seeing other people, like, maybe your pastor or another social. Expose them to other healthy men so they can okay. pick up good habits. Okay. You can compensate, supplement. Mm -hmm. Teachers, therapies. Mm -hmm. Find a way to get your kids to pick good habits. Also, you teach them. Yeah. Talk to them. 
Okay. They can still come up all right. Yeah. yeah. And that goes back to your beginning point that it's not just men, you know, teaching boys, but even as women, you can also teach them. But do it, you know, in a good way that it's not overbearing, so that you don't have this guy, you know, being 40 and too close of a relationship with the mom that there's no space for anything else. That's right. How can we find you, Benjamin? Social media, Benjamin, Benjamin Zulu KE on all social media platforms. Facebook, the page is Benjamin Zulu KE and also Gmail, Benjamin Zulu KE at Gmail. All right. Thank you again for your time and for coming through. Most Interesting welcome. discussion here. Obviously, some of you will feel one type of way about it. Others will not. But hopefully you've gleaned whatever you need to and have learned something here today. We need to take a break now as we get ready for our fitness segment. Dennis will be joining us on set. We want to see how well he's been doing since the last time he was here. I believe he had lost six kgs. We're rooting for him to have lost even more at this time. OK, so that's coming up next. Stay tuned. Double two triple nine is the SMS line. He's looking a little tense. Dennis, you okay? <laughs> okay. We're going to be meeting him shortly. Stay tuned.